Hi, this is Chris, and I may have just a couple Ryobi power tools, but it gave me the idea with all these batteries, why not use them for uh, backup power supplies? But I did notice that they have this new little 150 watt modified sine wave inverter, and it also has uh, two 2.4 amp uh, USB ports, but it doesn't have um, a 12 volt cigarette plug lighter that would make it really useful for running a CPAP machine and things like that. Since I retired, I've missed the inventing and reverse engineering and 3D printing of new things. Luckily, I have a friend that has a 3D printer and I got together with him this week to work on this. So this is the prototype of the Ryobi power station that runs off the 18 volt batteries. It has two 5 volt USB 2.4 volt amp sockets. It's got a quick charge 3 and a uh, C type C connector. And it also shows you the voltage, although it seems to be off by a tenth of a volt. And then it has a standard 12 volt cigarette lighter adapter plug. There's a switch in the side that turns on a nice light. See the switch here. Right now there's no cover on top, but this is a 10 amp DC to DC converter. The regular lithium HP 18 volt batteries from Ryobi fit right in. You can plug a pure sine wave inverter into the cigarette plug. Right now with just one inverter it's 10 amps. We could put two or three inverters here and do 30 amps. But with 10 amps it's sufficient to, if you turn it on here, it will drive a 100 watt bulb. We ran a test with the new Ryobi 9 amp hour battery. We put a 100 watt bulb on the 300 watt inverter and ran it for an hour and 34 minutes until the battery ran out. So this is just the first iteration of our prototype and we've got a couple more changes we're going to make, but I thought I'd show it to you and show you what's possible.